Hi everyone, Knoopsy here. I've been using the iPhone 13 Pro Max as my daily phone for the last few weeks now, and it's really become part of my everyday. So this video is a day in the life with the 13 Pro Max and how I use it as my daily phone. My first stop of the day is getting coffee. This is one of my favorite shops. I grabbed a coffee and met up with my friend Liam on the patio to discuss an upcoming trip to New York and a few projects we're working on. So I turned on Do Not Disturb and got to chatting. After our brief meeting, Liam had to bounce, so I said peace and I got to work on replying to some emails, messages, and scrolling through some of my social apps to catch up. After finishing an excellent vanilla latte, I headed back to the car, slapped my phone on a MagSafe car mount, turned on wireless CarPlay, and mapped my way downtown. I've been whipping around Mercedes new 2021 S-Class the last few days on loan, and this car is incredible, and packed with so much tech and so many cool features. After parking, I hopped out and started exploring. I do have quite a few things on my schedule today, but I have a solid hour to chill, get lunch, take some photos, and walk around a bit. After using the 13 Pro Max for the last few weeks, I think my favorite feature has to be the upgraded camera setup by far. It's just super versatile for photos, with the upgraded main, ultra-wide and telephoto cameras, as well as a new macro camera feature. I just love taking shots with this phone and really playing with perspective, especially with the ultra-wide camera. I also popped into a few stores to look around, stopped every once in a while along the way to reply to some emails, grabbed groceries, had a quick lunch, rice, lentils, crispy onions, absolute fire. I also ran a few other quick errands before hopping back in the car and heading home for a meeting. Made it home right on time. My boy Tom, also known as Byte Review, gave me a call to talk about a top secret project we're working on. We got a whole bunch of points nailed down, it was a very productive meeting, and I hope we can show you our work very soon. After our call, it was time for me to get back to work. I grabbed my iPad mini and started sketching out the thumbnail for this video. Yes, the one you're watching right now. I kind of wish we could use the Apple Pencil with the Pro iPhones at least, but maybe next year. I hope. After a very rough sketch, I closed up the iPad, grabbed my phone, and threw on some tracks to help me work, using AirPlay to my Sonos One. I headed into my half bedroom, half studio space, turned on my studio light, slapped the iPhone onto one of these Moment tripod mounts, and using the Apple Watch's remote camera feature, shot the thumbnail in RAW by myself. I have a good feeling about this one. I airdropped the photos to my MacBook, opened them up in Photoshop RAW, and got to work editing. I still have more work to do, but it's pretty much there. The afternoon was starting to fade into the evening, so I wanted to get in a quick run before dark. I've been using the Nike Run Club app for a minute now to track all my runs, and it's one of the reasons why I started running seriously in the first place. I threw the iPhone into a secure armband, tossed to my running earbuds, tightened up my shoes, and I'm off. After 
getting home from a pretty solid run, I hopped in the shower to get fresh, and now, it's dinner time. I found a recipe I've been wanting to try for a while and threw the phone onto one of Moment's adhesive MagSafe wall mounts while I cook. Served. After dinner and washing the dishes, it was time to get dressed up a bit. I heard about this art show from Canadian artist Bistiak and asked the boys if they were down to check it out. They were down. So I switched up the outfit to something a bit more classy. Grabbed my coat and headed out. The boys pulled up, we hopped in the car, and sped off. We got to the show pretty early, took some photos, checked out all the pieces, and talked to the artist. All of the pieces are beautiful, and this one? This one's my favorite, I think. After a solid viewing and chilling with the boys a bit, we all went our separate ways. Before heading home, I wanted to go on a little night walk and take some photos. It's one of the last warm nights of the year, so I really wanted to take it in. Just like during the day, the iPhone camera kills it at night, especially with all the upgraded cameras and faster night mode. To wind things down a bit and also get inspired, I replayed one of my favorite shows on YouTube, Never Too Small, to my projector. Self-contained space that feels like a gallery. It's getting close to 11 o'clock and tomorrow I gotta get up super early. And my battery just hit about 15%. So it's been a full day of usage with this iPhone. I tossed the phone in my MagSafe charging stand, hit the lights, good night. So that's a day in the life with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, all shot on the iPhone 13 Pro. This year's iPhone 13 Pro series has some pretty solid upgrades, especially the cameras. And so far, almost a month in, it's been a great experience. And shooting this video all on an iPhone has once again proven to me how versatile the iPhone camera setup actually is. With all the upgrades to the primary, ultra-wide and telephoto cameras, cinematic mode, HDR video recording, shooting on an iPhone has never been better. And that's it, so let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the video quality coming out of this phone. What do you think? Let me know. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.